about a week ago, I took a flight to Thailand, leaving the miserable UK winter for somewhere a little warmer. Now, don't get me wrong, Thailand's a very beautiful place, but after a few days, I was feeling a little templed out. I needed something a little bit more exciting. So I came up with an idea. Why don't I buy a car? I eventually found myself on Facebook Marketplace. I discovered that you can easily change your location to anywhere in the world and easily see what cars are for sale in that area. The cars here are cheap, but two doors and manuals are rare and bring a premium. But Thailand does have some serious and cool cars. Like this 1998 E36 BMW. Unfortunately, it's a four door, but it is a manual and it has some very cool modifications. It's had a recent respray with a number of M3 parts and is all round a tidy car, but the showstopper is the engine. This E36 has been fitted with a turbo 1JZ. This car will absolutely fly, but at 500 horsepower, I'm not sure if I'm quite brave enough to drive this in the tight traffic. Carrying on the search, eventually though, I found the car for me. Unfortunately, it was at the other end of the country, but I figured it was definitely worth a look. So I took a short flight to Chiang Mai, in the north of Thailand. When I arrived, I had a Honda Wave, a little semi-automatic motorbike that is really popular in Thailand. It even had a little basket on the front to put stuff in. I was excited to get going, so I set off. The car was located about 80 kilometers north of the city. I'd not ridden a semi-auto before, but really liked it. Found it quite well suited to the Thai roads. Much better than an auto anyway. After a couple of hours, I reached my destination. Well, not quite. The car was located on a military base, and the owner, a soldier, spoke very little English. The base wasn't going to let me in, and especially not filming. This could have been a problem. Fortunately, my Thai friend Millie came to the rescue and helped translate over the phone. Knew the owner would bring the car to me. It was then that I got my first look at the car, or perhaps I should say truck. As the car I'd come to see was a 1978 Datsun 620 pickup. This 1500cc beast looked awesome. It was a little tiny under closer inspection, certainly not concourse, but not bad for a 40 year old work truck. I had a good look around and it seemed solid enough, so as long as it drove okay, I think I wanted it. Nu then took me on a test drive. It had super cold aircon, which was definitely a big plus. After Nu drove it for a bit, I had to go with driving on some quiet back roads. It didn't drive well. The play in the steering was mental. Felt like I was driving a boat. And I struggled to keep it straight at all. Finding the gears wasn't easy either. To top it off, New told me that the road tax insurance had also expired a few days ago. So the truck was barely drivable and it wasn't even road legal. My heart still said yes, but my head definitely said no. I didn't know what to do. It was looking like the dream of buying a car in Thailand wasn't meant to be. Hey, what am I doing? Oh no, I've bought it. We're on our way to see a mechanic already because the steering is like awful. So yeah, see how we get on. Might not be able to film that much. Brakes aren't too good either, but it looks nice. Looks nice, yeah. There's an oil light on, but apparently that's always on, so uh, hopefully he's right about that, like, and there's nothing wrong, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm checking out, because I need, need to concentrate. Hopefully it updates it. Oh, bloody hell. As the drive went on, I actually started to get used to the steering, and I was starting to feel more confident about making it back to Chiang Mai, which is just as well, as the pickup doesn't have seatbelts. In case you're wondering what happened to my bike, that's in the back. You really can't beat a pickup. <laughs> just, just been through the first spot. Just 
spin through the first border checkpoint, okay? So hopefully smooth runnings because it hasn't got insurance, so we'll see, see what happens. It really was a handful to drive. Nearly back to Chiang Mai. Check out that. Beautiful. This is what it's all about. I eventually made it to the place that New suggested I go to get some repairs done. Google Maps had it down as a restaurant, but judging by the amount of 620s parked here, I was in the right place. And that was when I met an absolute legend called Bon. He immediately got to work looking at all the problems. He was worried about the rough idling of the engine. And next to his, he did sound a bit rough. With a long list of repairs, he got to work while I enjoyed some Isan pork in the restaurant. I wish garages back home were like this. Break this uh, big steering. Steering okay. Is the steering good? Yeah, steering good. Uh, steering good. Uh, yeah. This okay. Oh yeah, yeah, much better. Yeah. Much better. Yeah, yeah. Steering okay. And break I test okay. Have the knee, have the front family cleaning. This cleaning. Cleaning inside the metal. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah cleaning inside, look, or change the light inside the metal. Mm. Yeah, look, or change switch this. Change switch this. Change switch, yeah. Yeah, change oh, switch great. this. Change switch this, look, or carburetor. And then it's good. Yeah, good. And it sure. should be good, yeah, yeah. And like, maybe, maybe a pick up. That's not me. Everything okay, like or, uh, the water, the not heat. It was getting late and it seemed like there was still a bit to do. So I decided to head back to the hotel and leave it in Bond's capable hands. So there you have it. That was the story of how I bought my Datsun 620 pickup in Thailand. I didn't talk about it, but I had to sort quite a bit of paperwork out in order to do this. And I'll hopefully make a video in the future for people who are also interested in buying a car out here. In the next video, I'll go back and see Bon and see how he's got on. Hopefully he's made some progress and made it a bit easier to drive. I'll hopefully also do a full walkthrough of the truck. Any ideas about potential upgrades or where you'd like me to go in the truck, please let us know in the comments. Anyways, signing out. I'll see you next time.